Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Michael Myers from Halloween. So let's get started. To draw this cool Halloween character, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and we're going to draw a curve that goes up. So this is for the top of the eye and I'm going to come right across, say about right here, and draw a curve going down. So basically we want to create these eyes that slope downwards. Then from there, I'm going to come about right here and I'm going to round it off and then just go ahead and connect. And same thing over here. So just round this off, come down and just connect. So our goal is just to make it slanted downwards. Then let's come in here and I'm just going to shade this in just so we can see a little bit better. And of course, we're just drawing the mask here, the eye hole area. So this is nice and dark and creepy, right? <laughs> okay, so same thing over here. Just shade it in all black. So I hope you've been enjoying all the Halloween characters I've been drawing for you. This is the only time of the year I get to draw some creepy things. <laughs> So hopefully you've been loving that I've been helping you. Okay, so we have these two um, eye um, openings in. Then from there, I'm gonna come to the side right here and I'm just going to extend a little curve that goes out. Same thing here, just extend it outwards right there. Then I'm gonna come to the center and I'm going to draw this little triangle area for the nose. So about right here, this little peak area right here and connect it and I'll shade that in as well. So then now that we have that in, I'm going to come up right here, going to round it off and um, round it off as well right here. And I'm going to come right next to the eye since it's a little bit easier, come right next to the eye and we're basically drawing the nose. So I'm going to lightly connect right there and same thing here and connect then let's bring this up for indication of the brow and bring it down so same thing here and down then let's come back right here with the noses and i'm going to draw a little curve right here to finish off the nose Then from there, let's go ahead and draw the mouth. So um, let's come down to the center, say about right here. I'll just give myself a point and this is where I'm gonna start, kind of like this line right underneath the nose. Then from there, I'm going to draw the upper lip. So right in the center, we're going to draw, it's kind of curve, flatten out V and come down right here. So once again, I'm going to shade this part in right there. And then for the bottom lip, I'm just going to add a slight curve right there. And then underneath this curve, I'm going to draw another curve, bigger one for the chin area. Then from there, let's come, let's see here. Let's come to the bottom and right at the bottom right here, I'm just gonna still go lower. So say about right here, nicely in the center. This is where I'm going to um, draw a big curve. So I'll come about right here, that being my center. It's easier for me to see where I'm going. And I'm going to draw a curve right there. So then now that I have that in, let's come back and frame the face. So let's say um, kind of where the eyes are, the center, this point right here, I'm going to come out right here and give myself a point and same thing over here. Give myself a point point. then from there I'm going to draw a curve that comes down, so kind of like a bottom of a U, but I'm going to bring it to about right here in this area where the chin is. So round it off and then just bring it right in. So same thing here, come straight a little bit and then come down and in right there. Starting to look nice and creepy, right? So then bring this up and this as well. 
And before I finish this part, uh, let's come right here. We're going to draw these cheek curve for the cheek area. So kind of like where this nose is, I'm going to lightly put in a curve and same thing here. Kind of what makes it nice and creepy. There. So hopefully I've captured the mask. This one's a little bit lower, so I'll bring this up. Okay, so then from there, let's bring this up. So we're going to start to draw the top. And let's say about right here, nice big oval about right here. I'll give myself a point. And from here, I'm going to go up and round it off and down for the hairline. So same thing here, go up and down. And then for another, uh, maybe like a wrinkle up here, let's just go ahead and draw very lightly. Curve and curve right there by the top. From there, let's go ahead and draw his ears. So I'm going to come to the side right here where his, kind of his eyes are. I'm going to draw a long curve that comes down. So a little bit wider at the bottom and then just slips down and then just going to draw a little curve inside for some details. So same thing on the other side, but right here. Wider here and then tapers in. And once again, details inside. Now to work on his hair, let's come about right here. And I'm just going to draw some strands. Go up. Uh, let's see here. Make it simple. So we want it nice and high at the top. So I'll just come to about right here. Nice and high. Just give myself a nice big curve at the top. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and just bring this down. Just some strands here and there to finish it off. And here as well. Strand here and finish it off. So you just want to make sure it's nice and high at the top. A little too pointy. Okay, so now that we have that in, we're pretty much done. Oh, actually, you know what? We have some hair at the bottom that we need to draw, but let's do that a little bit later. Let's finish his um, jumpsuit first. So let's come back down here. And in this area, I'm going to come about right here and here, nice and center. And I'm going to draw curve and another curve for his neckline area. Then from there, I'm going to come right back out and I'm going to draw his collar. So zigzag in, out, and in. So same thing over right here, just like the other side. In, out, in, right towards the center. Then from there, just as you would without this collar, you'll be drawing his shoulder. So let's bring this out about right here and down. So same thing here. Out and down for his shoulders. Then on the inside, we're going to draw a curve right here because his mask, this mask extends out all the way down and then his shirt. Just another curve for his shirt. Then from there, let's kind of find his armpit area. So say about right here and here. Nice and low because he's wearing a jumpsuit. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of draw this line that comes down. So now we know where to, we're working with his arms, his chest. Then let's bring this down more because he's wearing a jumpsuit. So we're just going to go all the way down. Let's bring this up. Let's connect this up right here and here. And so then let's see here about his waist area is going to be about right here. So before I do that, I need to draw this center detail. So I'll bring this down and about right here, I'll put his waist area. So I'm going to go right across and thicken this band up on his jumpsuit right there. And then let's bring this down. So I want his legs to be about right here. So I'm going nice and low. 
So I'll say about right here in the center. I'm just gonna give myself a little curve. Then from there, this is where his legs are going to start. And let's bring this down to about right there and cut it off. Then let's bring his legs down. So work on this side. Let's come out. Come out. And let's bring this down to about right here. Flare it out a little bit. And then we're going to bring a curve coming downwards. From here, we're going to draw his feet. So nice and simple. Just bring it out with a curve. Curve and then in. And then line. So very simple feet. Because all these slasher characters, it's all about the mask, right? <laughs> So we're just concentrating on the mask. So same thing over here. And out. And going up. Create that curve. And then for the shoe, once again, curve it out. The line right here. And connect. So then now that we have that, let's draw the arms. So nicest to the side. We're going to end about right here. So I'll come about right here really close pop out a curve right there and then thicken it up so about right here and connect nice and simple then right here for his hands we're just going to come down give a little curve and connect right there so on this side as well. So go right here, same thing, curve, and we're going to end it about right there. And same thing here. About right there, curve, and connect. So once again, same thing for the hands. Come down, little curve. Flatten out a little bit and up. There. And then for some details, uh, we can come in here and draw two pockets. So go right here. Go ahead and draw these two big pockets. Another line right here. And same thing over here. And we can draw some strands here. And let's see. That is pretty much it. I think I'm not. Oh, pockets right here. I almost forgot these. And that is pretty much it, I hope. <laughs> oh, and the hair. Oh my goodness. Okay, I knew something was missing. So let's come back here. And I'm just going to zigzag some hair towards the back. Sorry about that. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> I really hope I helped you draw Michael Myers here from Halloween and that I've inspired you to draw this for how uh, to celebrate uh, this spooky time of the year. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you.